Hi, I'm a state attorney, Crystal Patton, and I'm coming at you today with a little estate planning PSA. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Robinhood. Many of you know Robinhood. It's a very easy to use platform that has become very popular in the last couple of years, but it could also mean probate for your estate. You see, Robinhood does not allow you to name a joint owner on your account. It doesn't allow you to name a beneficiary on your account. It doesn't allow you to have that account held in an LLC, nor in your trust. What does that mean? Well, that means that that account is in your individual name and will be a probate asset subject to your will or lack thereof upon your death. In states like Arizona, we have a small estate affidavit process. And if the total value of personal property is under $75,000, we can use this simplified probate process to collect that account. But if your Robinhood account and other probate assets exceed $75,000, you are now in a full probate. I caution clients not to use Robinhood for this exact reason. Maybe instead, Robinhood should get on the ball and start allowing our clients to name trusts or at least a beneficiary on the account. If you have questions about how to hold title to your accounts to avoid the probate process, I recommend that you contact your own estate advisor. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed the content, please like, comment below, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, as always, please feel free to share with those that you think will benefit from it. Have a great day.